Nina here with Hewitt Smart Homeschool Academy. In today's lesson, we're going to continue working on our writing exercise. This time, we're going to form something like a draft. Are you ready to begin? Good. Let's be start with our word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts. It's others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson. We shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, if uh, you have your workbooks, you may turn to page 59. That's 5-9. And as you're turning, I will just remind you of what we talked about last week. So we left off talking about the different potential things God may want you to do with your life. He said, what do I want to be with our grow up? What does God want me to do when I grow up? What direction is he leading me into? Those sorts of questions are really important to begin exploring because even at this age, let's say you feel compelled to work as a firefighter and go as a then you can start taking up an interest in it. Even at the age of seven or eight, you can start reading books. You can start asking questions. You can start even, you know, talking to your parents about meeting firefighters, real life firefighters, visiting fire stations. You know, perhaps you'll start collecting fire hats and costume fire, fire man, fire woman clothing and just begin to ask questions. And, 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 you know, and because what God wants from everyone is perfection. He really likes perfection. He likes for people to do a very good job at whatever it is they're doing. The scripture says that all that you do, whatever it is you do, do what it asks unto the Lord. So whatever God has you do with your life, you want to do it as though you're serving him directly because by extent you are serving him. And so since you know you're serving him, you want to make sure you do a very good job. So you may as well start asking those questions, finding out where it is God is tugging you to go, and then just look into it, ask, you know, um, just learn more about it, read books about it, meet people who are do, doing what it is you want to do. And I believe that'll position you to be a really, really um, successful person in that field of choice. Now, with that being said, last week we listed a huge number of potential possibilities and potential um, um, places you'd like to, or things you'd like to be when you grow up, but, and potential careers. But today what we want to do is find a way to organize it in such a way to where it actually looks like a draft. So let's take, for instance, a fireman or a firewoman, some sort of firefighter. With your draft last week, You'll just continue to ponder those potential careers. Today, we're going to extract one or two of those. Let's say one. And you just form it into sentences, just basic sentences, such as, you know, I think I want to be a fireman. I think I want to be a firefighter. That's a simple sentence. And guess what? When we do the CSP check, capitalization, spelling, punctuation, you can confirm everything is there. I is there, the uppercase letter for the beginning of the sentence. Everything is spelled correctly and is in punctuation mark. That's good. I think I want to be a firefighter. But maybe your next sentence is, but I'm not so sure. Or maybe you'll say, I also believe God wants me to be a nurse. Who knows? However, God may want me to be a nurse. I'm not so sure. I'm not, that's a T, I'm not so sure just yet. And it's okay not to be sure, okay? It's okay not being sure at age seven is perfectly okay. Okay, so it's okay to say, I'm not so sure what it is just yet. Um, I will continue praying about it. I will keep praying. I will keep praying to God to 
find out more. Or you could say to get clarity. And just continue to just, a draft is basically that. You're just literally taking what you read, what you wrote down before, and you're just stringing it together into sentences. You may want to stop here, or you may want to write, continue to write some of the other possible career choices. You may say, I like the idea of becoming a firefighter. I think God wants me to be a nurse. I'm not so sure. But come to think of it, perhaps I'd really like to be a, you know, a teacher. And so you just continue to just add body to those words that you formed last week. And so that's what you're going to be doing today. You're taking those words and you're forming them into just adding body to it, adding words around it, adding what we call sentences. I would just leave you on this note. Be sure to always check for CSP, capitalization, spelling, and punctuation marks at the end of every sentence, just to make sure that you're getting comfortable with CSP in every single thing you write um, to make it a full sentence. When make sure that you're answering the question, make sure it's a complete sentence. Um, this is a draft, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to start thinking about um, working towards making complete sentences and CSP as well. Okay, well, I think that's all I have for you today. Thank you for coming to class. Until next time, God bless. I'll be your hero's body and as you study with heroes born.